Hey guys, I'm going to give you a, a brief uh, video here of what we will be doing on the uh, Sinker EDM. Obviously, this is a Sinker EDM right here. This is our control panel over here. You can see we have an on and off. We have a uh, off retract button right here. This is our RAM up or down. This is our servo speed here. We have our output, our frequency, our gap adjust, and our percent of on time. Okay, this is our, um, uh, the, this controls our RAM right here for our doing an edge. Uh, that would be like using your electrode for an edge finder. Manual allows us to manually control the RAM up or down. We have a dither. That's where we're going to touch our, uh, our electrode off our part. And then we're going to put it into auto when we, uh, when we start our burn. Okay, so that's the control panel right there. Pretty simple. This is going to show us our uh, our volts and our amperage when we are doing our burn. Okay. As far as the machine over here, um, this is our this is our tank right here. Uh, when this guard is up, uh, it will allow us to run the machine. If the guard's down, the ram will automatically go up and shut all power off to the machine. This tank in here gets filled up with dielectric fluid. Okay. And this is how we fill the tank and how we drain the tank right here. Okay, we have an auxiliary line over here which is controlled over here by this valve. If we want to use this auxiliary line to put more dielectric fluid into our part. We do not have any through spindle coolant, which means uh, a coolant would go through the spindle and come out the rod. We do not have that option on this machine. Okay. Uh, what we what we are going to do here is let me show you some examples. Our first one will be um, gluing an electrode onto a rod. We will be chucking this up in the lathe, and then we will be turning this diameter down to the diameter that is specified on on the drawing. Okay, that and this right here are going to be the two projects that we're going to do first. Okay. Um, we are going to machine this on the bridge port back in the grinding room to a rectangle to a specific dimension that is again going to be required on the uh, on the drawing. Okay, this is called the tipping method right here, where we glue an electrode onto a piece of metal. We do need to check the conductivity between the electrode and the rod to make sure we have good conductivity. Okay. Uh, once those are made, they will go up into our ram, secure it in. If it's a round part, we only need to use this screw right here because that's going to drive it into the corner. Okay, if it's a square rectangle, we need to use this front screw and also the side screw over here to hold your part up against the two surfaces. Okay, all right. So that's just a brief description here of this machine. And... Um, this over here allows us, this indicator allows us to uh, show the, the depth of our burn, okay? This lock and auto, and when we, if we want our ram locked, we put it in lock. If we want to run, it's going to be in auto, okay? So just a short little uh, video there on the uh, Synchro EDM.